Hey, what's up everybody? My name is D and first I'd like to thank you to everyone who has been supporting me and patiently waiting for my release of the script that turned your WHMCS system into a premium WordPress website builder. Okay, so in today's videos, I'll show you guys how to get the script, how to install it on your server and how to use it. Okay, let's get started. All right, everybody. So in order to uh, get the script first, you can go to uh, my website. I'll leave the link in the video description so you can uh, check it out. But this is the website right here, building.smartandgood.com. And once you are over here, you can go to the store and you can go to the uh, WHMCS script right here. You know, originally I wanted to sell the script for $200, but then again, I thought about it. Uh, I thought about the time when I first started. I only want to make $100 a day in order for me to, you know, do the things I love. So $100 for the script. Basically, all you have to do now is just uh, click on the add order. Okay, once you are over here, all you have to do is just uh, paste in your IP address and you need to paste in your website domain. Uh, this is where you install your WHMCS. This is the uh, directory on your server. And we can uh, click right here to continue. Okay, so now all you have to do, is just go to uh, checkout, create an account if you not already have an account, generate a password, enter your billing information right here and complete the order. So after you purchase the script, you will get redirected to the uh, client's area. This is where you are going to manage all of your products and services as well as domain name. And as you can see right here, we have the uh, WHMCS script right here. We can uh, click right here to view more details. And as you can see, we can uh, click right here to download the script. And this is your license key right here. Okay, so this is the uh, website we are going to use as an example today. Okay, so this is the project I built a little uh, back. As you can see, uh, we have the listings and we have the demos where people can uh, click right here to get started to sign up for this website right here. Okay, so now we need to uh, log into uh, cPanel. cPanel. Okay, once you are in your cPanels, you can uh, scroll down and go to File Manager. And we are going to go to the uh, public. Uh, that's HTML. And now we are going to locate the uh, WHMCS directory uh, usually people install it on a subdirectory. If that's the case, you are going to locate that uh, directory. And as you can see, I've installed it on a subdirectory right here. And we are going to find the uh, include directory. And we are going to go to the uh, hook. And we are going to upload the files we uh, downloaded earlier. All right, so this is the uh, installations hook right here. Okay, once you're done, you can uh, go back over here and we are going to um, click right here to uh, edit it. Okay, you guys, so this is the uh, script right here. So now what we need to do is we uh, need to uh, log into uh, WHMCS dashboard. Once you are over here, all you have to do is just go to uh, system settings and we are going to go to uh, products and services. And as you can see, I have a bunch of uh, different products right here but let's just uh, create a new product. If you don't already have the uh, group product, uh, all you have to do is just uh, click right here to uh, create a new one. Okay, so let's uh, create a new product and we are going to uh, group it in the um, resellers network, for example. Okay, so we are going to give this product a name, WordPress template. Okay, and for this uh, section right here, choose uh, cPanel. Uh, create as hidden, uh, off, continue. And uh, right here you can uh, write the uh, product tagline, product short uh, descriptions, long descriptions. Okay, we can uh, choose the uh, welcome email. Uh, later, uh, you can uh, create the uh, customs email right here to uh, uh, send the uh, customers of the uh, login information for their network. Okay, and we can uh, go over here and we can set the price. For example, one-time price or recurring pricings. Let's uh, choose this one right here. We are going to get this product 
a uh, twenty dollars a month. Okay, no setup fee. Okay, we can go to the uh, Mojo settings, and uh, as you can see right here, we have the install WordPress. Uh, don't allow admin to install WordPress. Don't allow clients to install WordPress. No automatic install WordPress. So we don't want uh, cPanels to automatically install WordPress for us because we are going to deploy the uh, custom uh, WordPress later on. Down here, we want to automatically deploy the uh, cPanels when the first payment is received. Right here, free domain. You can choose to offer free domain with this uh, products right here. What we need to uh, look at is the uh, products ID right here. It's going to be a 22. Okay, we can uh, save this uh, changes right here. Uh, the reasons we need to remember the products ID because if you go back to the script right here and you scroll all the way down, you see this section right here. This is where we are going to uh, uh, enter all of the uh, products credentials. For example, it's going to be the uh, products ID, the domain name, the uh, username and passwords. Uh, so that whenever somebody purchase this uh, product right here, the script will get notified and then it will deploy custom so WordPress installations. Okay, we can uh, click right here to save the changes. Okay, so now all we have to do is just uh, go over here and we are going to view all of the uh, clients. So it's a little bit confusing, but after you watch this whole tutorial, it will all make sense. Okay, so basically I've created this uh, clients right here as the admin of this uh, dashboard. This is where we are going to manage all of the products and services. Okay, so as you can see over here, this is the products and services. And if you take a look over here, so I have a bunch of uh, products that already have the uh, subdomain mapped to uh, this uh, products. And uh, we can now uh, go to the uh, summary and we are going to uh, create a new order. So now we need to uh, have the uh, subdomain name. In my case, I have uh, GoDaddy. All you have to do is just log into your domain provider. Okay, so once you are in your domain provider, all you have to do is just uh, click on the uh, DNS. This is where you are going to be able to uh, create a new record. And we are going to uh, choose the A record. We are going to give it a name. For example, it's going to be um, WordPress template. Okay, so this is going to be wordpress-template.smartandgood.com and we need to enter the uh, IP address of the uh, WHMCS server. Okay, and let's uh, copy this one right here. We're going to uh, paste this in right here. Custom, it's going to be 600 second and we can uh, click right here to save. Okay, so now all we have to do is just go back over here and uh, this is the products we are trying to add. So we are going to choose the uh, products we uh, created earlier. It's going to be WordPress templates and we are going to map this uh, subdomain WordPress template.smartandgood.com. Okay, so this product is $20, so we are going to override the price. We are going to make it $0. So now all we have to do is just uh, change this right here and we can uh, click right here to submit. Okay you guys and just like that we created the uh, new WordPress installations with the uh, subdomain map to it and we have uh, cPanel right here. Okay you guys so now we have the uh, username, we have the password, we have the uh, domain already mapped to this uh, cPanels. Now we can uh, click right here to log into uh, cPanels and we are going to uh, look for uh, WordPress managers by Softaculous. We are going to uh, click right here and we are going to uh, scan to see if there's any WordPress installations in our cPanels. Okay, so no worry if there isn't one. We are going to return to WordPress management. We are going to uh, click to install a new WordPress. So basically we are trying to create a WordPress template so people can use this uh, subdomain right here to uh, check out your website's template. Okay, so we are going to make it uh, HTTPS and we can uh, give this uh, WordPress installation a name. For example, WordPress template. 
Okay, we can uh, get the uh, site descriptions, we can enable multi-site and stuff like that. Username, password, so make sure the uh, username is always admin because uh, later on in the script, it can uh, change the password for the uh, customers and then it can send the uh, email with all the login information for your customer. We can uh, click right here to install the WordPress installation. Okay, now we have the uh, WordPress installations. Uh, we can log into this uh, WordPress installations right here and we can do all of the uh, customize you want for this uh, installations right here. We can uh, click right here to check out the uh, front end of the website. We can go to the appearance, go to themes, and we can install a theme as an example because, uh, because later on we are going to uh, test the products to see if it's deployed this WordPress installations with the theme. Okay, let's uh, add a new theme. Let's uh, look for Astra for example. And we're going to install this theme right here. Activate it. All right, we can install any of these uh, templates right here, but uh, if you take a look, this is the uh, WordPress theme and let's uh, refresh it to see if it's a Astra theme. Okay, as you can see, Astra WordPress theme right here. Okay, so now that we have the uh, domain name, we have the username, we have the password, we have the uh, product's ID, this is our product's ID. So whenever somebody purchase uh, this product right here, with this ID, uh, the script is going to deploy this WordPress installations. All right, now we can uh, go over here, we can uh, copy this uh, subdomain name. Go over here and down here, this sections, and we are going to enter the uh, product ID, and we are going to enter the uh, domain of uh, the WordPress installations. We are going to uh, use this uh, username, paste this in right here, password, okay, and paste this in right here. And we are going to uh, save all the uh, changes. All right, so now let's uh, create another uh, subdomain. Let's uh, copy this IP address. We are going to uh, create a new A record. And let's call this WordPress test. All right. Paste this in right here. Custom 600. Save changes. All right, you guys. Now we can uh, go back over here and uh, let's go to the uh, summary and we are going to add a new order right we want to uh, test out to see if uh, the products we just set up will deploy uh, we can uh, deploy this products manually we can enter the uh, wordpress that's test dot smarting goods dot com zero dollar we are going to uh, make this uh, test order to see if the script deployed the WordPress installations with the extra theme that we created earlier. Okay, you guys, as you can see, uh, the product is already deployed. We can uh, copy this uh, subdomain name right here and we can uh, paste this in right here to see if the script deployed the WordPress templates for our customer. And as you can see right here, this is the uh, Astra theme that we installed for our template earlier. So one of the downfall of the script is that it takes some time for the script to fully deploy the WordPress templates for the customers. That's because uh, the script has to wait 500 seconds in this case in order for the deployment to fully install, then it's going to change the uh, uh, passwords of the installations and then it's going to send the customers new login information via email. Alright you guys, so as you can see, this is just one basic WordPress templates that I've created to show you guys that it's possible to use the script to make a copy for your customer. Now as you can see on my screen, I have created 
many templates and I equip them with premium themes and plugins and by using this script right here I was able to easily deploy the WordPress website templates for my customer. Alright you guys so one last thing I want to show you guys if you go to uh, the dashboards of my main WordPress websites this is where I create the uh, custom post type uh, for all of my uh, WordPress website templates. I can just uh, click right here to show you guys all of the templates I've created. As you can see, these are all of the uh, templates. We can uh, click right here to create a new website template listing on my main WordPress website. Okay, so we can uh, give this uh, template a name, WordPress template. We can uh, write the uh, descriptions right here. And if you scroll all the way down here, you see this custom post type where I can enter the uh, demo URL. For example, it's going to be WordPress template.smartinggoods.com. And for the uh, sign up URL, I can go to my WHMCS products. So basically, this is the products I created earlier. And uh, we can go to the uh, link right here. We are going to copy this link right here so that we can direct the customers to the uh, checkout page where they can sign up for this uh, template right here. And we can go to our um, listing right here. We can uh, just paste this in right here. And remember the price we uh, gave uh, the products earlier was uh, $20. And if you have the uh, video URL, you can just uh, paste this in right here. Let's make sure HTTPS. And over here, we can create the uh, category for our website's listing template. We can upload the uh, features image right here. And when you're done, you can uh, just uh, click right here to uh, publish. And just like that, we can uh, view this uh, website's template right here. Voila, as you can see, Okay, you guys, so this is supposed to be the uh, features uh, image, uh, but because we didn't really uh, use any image for this section right here. So this is the uh, videos button where people can uh, click right here to browse uh, tutorial videos or uh, previews videos of your template. Over here is the uh, titles. This is the price. This is the uh, demo link. And this is the uh, sign up link right here. Uh, as you can see, people can uh, search for the uh, domain name and over here, this is the uh, website templates right here. So this video is kind of getting too long and it's like one o'clock here in Vietnam. So I think I'm going to save this videos for future videos. I'll show you guys how to create the uh, custom uh, listings for your WordPress websites. All right, you guys, so I'll leave the links of this script in the video description so you guys can uh, check it out. I hope by watching this video, you know exactly how to install the script for your WHMCS system and turn your system into a premium WordPress website builder. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next videos. Peace.